Good morning, this is Leanne from What's Cooking with the Johnstons, and I almost uh, canceled on you this morning, and um, but I didn't, um, because I think it's important to show up. So here I am, um, I'm drinking water from my beautiful little tumbler here. Um, and if we were having water slash coffee this morning, um, I would tell you that I am so tired. Um, perhaps I should be drinking coffee and not water um, this morning. I am um, coming off of one, two, three, four, five days of um, travel and uh, late night work and early morning work. Um, some of you may know my, um, I guess if we were having coffee, you might know my day job is uh, working with youth and young adults in the United Methodist Church and we just had our um, annual conference uh, where I was responsible for the uh, youth delegates. And it was such a blast. Um, hanging out with teenagers is just uh, really a lot of fun for me. Um, and seeing their passion and their um, enthusiasm and their worship. It was a great time. Um, but it was exhausting. It was, uh, it was very late nights and very early mornings. And um, very uh, stressful days um, trying to balance uh, some of the other things that I had to do for my job besides just being chaperone and Mama Leanne. Um, I wrote last week about traveling with my son. I'm sorry, not traveling with my son, traveling without Wesley. Um, I am very tired. I'm delusional. Uh, traveling um, when, when Jared and I went to France without Wesley, so I wrote all about that. Now I'm kind of uh, starting to write a blog post in my head about traveling with Wesley um, because he was with me at annual conference, um, and so was Jared. And uh, I think as much as I hate traveling without him, um, I was reminded this week about how challenging it is to travel with him um, it's really hard to be mama and uh, wife and youth minister and um, professional, whatever. So I am I am tired today. Um, if we were having coffee, I would tell you I'm I am just beat up. Um, if we were having coffee today, um, I would probably tell you that. I'm really uh, starting to explore the adoption process. Um, I have felt called to adopt, oh gosh, I don't know, for 20 years or so. Um, and that was something that before Jared and I got married, I told him like I'm really passionate about adopting. Um, and he was really, really wanting to have a child of his own that was genetically um, his, so we uh, opted to do that first, um, but I think our second child and maybe third, fourth, I don't know, um, will uh, not biologically be ours, but will be uh, chosen um, and, and born out of a love that's in our hearts. Um, so I'm exploring um, that process right now, and um, I'm definitely not ready for a baby in our house yet, um, but I think over the next oh, 12 to 18 months, um, that might be something we're ready for. So uh, I'm learning about how much adoption is going to cost us um, financially and uh, what kind of process we're looking at. Um, I think we're going to explore international adoption first. <clears throat> um, that just, uh, I think that's just what God is calling us to. Um, so we'd like to do probably some infant or young, um, you know, before they turn one year old baby. Um, the Johnstons only make boys, so this may be our option to have a girl in the family, um, although I'm really okay with whatever baby God uh, places in our in our midst. Um, I think maybe a baby girl might be a, a fun thing. So, um, so yeah, we're exploring uh, the adoption process, and I may write a more formal post as I continue to... Um, do some research and, and figure things out there. Um, but that's an exciting thing we're doing. Uh, if we were having coffee today, I'd tell you that I'll be traveling again next week, also with Wesley, but without Jared. Um, I have some, um, some business in Oklahoma, 
And so Wesley and I will be on the road uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, we'll get to visit with some family, and he'll get to spend some time with Aunt Courtney um, while he's there, which is super fun because he loves Aunt Courtney. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, Courtney, I told you you'd make a vlog at some point. Um, so we'll be traveling again, and oh gosh, that just makes me so tired to think about um, think about driving and traveling again, but I'll have plenty of sleep in my own bed. If you can see, I am actually um, just sitting in my bed right now. Um, yes, this is my bedroom. This is, yeah, there's my sunglasses. I think we put them up there to get away from Wesley. Um, also, one of the other reasons why I am sitting in my bed right now, I'll move the... Um, the laptop down a little bit is that I have been working on a project that is going to go right here you see that is my current nightstand it is um, very basic I'll show you a little bit um, if you can see underneath there uh, this is a box uh, just a, a fabric box um, in a nightstand that um, was uh, from Ikea and I stained it. Um, it they actually, we have matching nightstands and um, Jared and I have the same nightstand and I stained them after we got married. They were a bachelor thing for him. Um, and I don't like it at all. I think um, something bright and maybe with drawers would be amazing. So um, we went to Ikea uh, last week or the week before and um, I picked up a unfinished dresser it has two three drawers I believe and it's um, it'll be a little bit wider than this and probably a little bit taller um, but I picked it up and then decided that I wanted to paint it a blue sorry if I'm giving y'all uh, motion sickness here with all the moving but um, I'll show you what color I picked to paint it I picked to paint it this color, um, I just love this frame. Um, this frame's just here to reference for color. Um, and I'll probably hang it on the wall somewhere. But the, the dresser will be this color. And uh, I think actually later today I'm going to run over to um, the craft store and look at um, some knobs. Because I would love to get some just beautiful colored knobs. There's just not enough color in our bedroom right now. Um, actually, there's a little bit of color if you can see um, up there. Right there, um, that's the uh, painting that Wesley and Jared and I made last year. Um, so I'm working on bringing in some more color. Uh, we do not currently have curtains on our windows. Um, <clears throat> and I actually want to bring in the curtains from uh, Wesley's nursery. Bring them in here and um, do new curtains in his room because I just adore the curtains in his room. I love the colors and think that they'll look really nice in here. And then um, we can do some maybe big boy curtains in his room. Oh, anyway, um, if we were having coffee, we probably would not be having it in my bedroom because that might be weird. Um, but this is where I am right now. So there you go. If we were having coffee today, I would definitely um, want to hear all about the things going on in your world and. Oh, gosh, even just talking for the past eight minutes has made me exhausted. So um, I would want you to talk if we were having coffee today. Uh, tell me all about all the things going on in your world. Um, if, if summer is happening, if you're doing anything fun for summer. I know sometimes being a grown-up in the summer doesn't really change uh, life. You know, we still have to go to work, and um, my, our boy is still in school in the summer, so... Summer's no different than the school year, but if summer's different, I'd love to hear about that. And I'm really just uh, curious as to what God's putting on your heart and um, and things going on in your world. And if you've heard some grunting and snoring while we've been meeting, um, here is our little uh, our little Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou, can you say hi? Oh, Lucy is very tired this morning. Um, so she's been snuggling with me while we've been talking. Anyway, I hope that you have a fantastic Friday and you have a great relaxing weekend. Um, and I will uh, see you real soon. Bye.